quantum enthusiast and uh, welcome to another video of this playlist uh, in this segment we will be working with the quit button this one so whenever i press this quit button the window should close that's the only function of this quit button and uh, another thing that we will do will be just initialize the quantum circuit so uh, in the upcoming videos we will be working on all these single qubit gates we will link them with their respective functions so whenever i click any of these buttons uh, at the corresponding letters will be displayed here and it will also apply corresponding uh, modification to the state vector so we will see that in the upcoming videos but for this video, it's only about the quit button and initializing our quantum circuit, right? So let me just comment this one. We don't require it for now. The thing we require is this. So we import the quantum circuit class uh, that I showed you in the basic uh, case kit part. Uh, and uh, mostly part number 12 i guess uh, and uh, i showed you how to initialize the circuit and how to work with it so we will uh, work with it by initializing uh, by initializing the circuit and here's how we do it so you can see this uh, this is the function uh, initialize circuit right Again, the function doesn't take any arguments. And now notice that we have keyword global here. So the scope of this variable circuit is this complete file. It's not a local variable for this function. So now circuit is av available for the entire uh, file, right? Uh, I hope uh, you recall these function this function uh, this keyword global uh, that we talked in the python basics part 2 video uh, video number 11 if i'm not wrong uh, so we define this keyword first uh, and uh, the name of our variable then we just uh, use quantum circuit class to make uh, this uh, circuit represent our uh, quantum circuit that we will be working with and in the argument, I just pass uh, one qubit. So note that in the visual visualizer tool that we are making, uh, we cannot visualize measurement, right? So because whenever you measure, uh, the state vector collapses into one of the basis states directly. So for one, uh, our case, maybe zero, uh, zero kit and one kit. So you get either zero or one when you measure and uh, there's no point visualizing that and you uh, so if you uh, measure you cannot visualize it right so therefore uh, we don't pass uh, the value for any classical bit so in here uh, our quantum circuit has only one qubit no classical bits because we actually don't need them okay so that's it for our function or uh, initialize circuit it just initializes the circuit let me write initializes the quantum circuit i know it's not a great way to write it this way actually you should write what it the function returns uh, what are the arguments it, it takes and if it takes any and if, if it does take any argument, what are the uh, expected uh, data type, maybe integer, float, string. So that's how you define it. Another thing that uh, I want to tell you is that usually we don't use uh, uh, global uh, variables. We try to avoid global variables uh, because uh, they can result into possible errors uh, that then can be difficult to solve. So in here, our uh, code is really short. It's just about 
200 or 250 lines approximately but uh, when you are writing longer codes uh, they can create problem so it's not really recommended to use global variables another thing is you uh, write global variables in uh, caps so in the capital letters it should be like this but uh, I have not written it uh, because uh, initially while I was developing this program I was just uh, I just thought of uh, uh, developing it for myself and using it to uh, visualize stuff it's just for personal uh, uh, you know personal thing personal tool that would help me with quantum computing quantum machine learning and so on so but uh, if you are writing the code or any time you are any code not only this project remember that you write uh, global variable in caps so they differentiate uh, so you can easy, uh, easily distinguish between a normal variable and a global variable right so that's the only convention uh, so uh, that's all about this initialization purposes and we defined here theta is equal to zero and this theta will come into the picture when we talk about the rx ry rz gates at that time as of now i don't need to worry about this as of much but we will get back to it when required so that's all about the initialize circuit so now we have uh, in this line we just call our function so now uh, when it's passed it is uh, file runs we have initialized our circuit and our quantum circuit is ready with one qubit so that's it now let me move on to the quit button you can see here it's really simple uh, the com command that uh, the function that uh, it uh, needs is we already have it so we don't need to specify explicitly a command so what i will do is command is equal to root dot destroy and that's it all fine and good so what does root destroy means it destroys the window and that's what we actually want so we don't need to define any function explicitly we can just give command is equal to root dot destroy and that's it for the quit window <laughs> So let me save everything and run. So here we go. Uh, nothing will be uh, uh, nothing will be able uh, able to uh, uh, tell us if our circuit has uh, initialized because nothing uh, has uh, no functions have been given to these all buttons so we can uh, not verify uh, if everything worked right with the initialize circuit method but never mind we will be working in the upcoming videos with all these buttons uh, so let me click on quit and when i click the window should close automatically so let, let's go and that's it so it destroyed the window the application closed and that's what we wanted so in this video uh, we talked about initial initializing our circuit the using use of the global keyword and some things related to the same and we saw this uh, help uh, this help from this command root dot destroy that uh, saved us from the, uh, defining a uh, function exp explicitly for our quit button and so that's it from this video i hope to see you in the next one thank you